Hey everyone, so this is Thanksgiving week. Um, the, the stove, the oven has been giving me problems since about summertime. It's been taking as much as 10 minutes and even some of the neighbors have been calling the gas company say they smell gas. The gas man came and he says that the, that the uh, igniter is taking too long to light. So anyway, um, I did some research. And usually the number one culprit is the igniter. So did more research and found the igniter. And I guess a company called Robert Shaw. They make one that's equivalent. So that's what I'm going to be doing here right now. And just to uh, give you a heads up of what I've done so far is all I did was I took the uh, took the the grills off just set them up on top and then the uh, the bottom part is uh, just a couple of these uh, little weird wire thingies like, oh, that's the only thing that holds it in so you just pop it out pop the whole thing out and then just set up on top of the grills and pull the uh, pull the broiler pull the broiler out so, and anyway, so the next thing I did was just take these uh, screws off, this one, two here, and I set them down. The, the one closer to me is this one, the one further, that one. And then these two, same thing, on the, uh, on the uh, little electrical box, the left and the right. I took those screws out and put them right there. And now um, I've got to take these wire nuts off and then uh, go ahead and uh, rewire it. Of course, uh, they tell you about oh, the safety. See that? That just says off. Leave it off. Okay? Don't hurt yourselves. Yeah, I'm not going to go pull power on the house. I'm not going to shut the gas off. Forget that. Just do this real quickly. Don't turn this on. Should be okay. All right, so here I go. All right, so take the igniter out of the box. I've got new wire nuts. Some instructions that I'm not going to read. And let's do this. All right, so let me just set this down temporarily here. Yeah, this is, somebody's definitely been here before. This isn't done out of factory, but I'm about to hurt. I'm about to cut these things. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Boy, that was brittle. Alright, so there's the old igniter. And I need to go ahead and strip these a little bit. in place good fit I, one of the things that I caution against in the internet 
so many different igniters choices actually it's not very many <laughs> when you really look at them um, yeah there were shorter ones and it says it would work and really I went with the uh, the same thing that was in there because I didn't want any difficulty but it seems to me that pretty much anything will work for how long who knows I'm not about to find out see this is bent and that that's how I found it so it's an old house it's an old it's an old uh, stove I venture to guess it's probably from the 1970s but uh Go ahead and take these wire nuts out. And let me see if I can peel these off a little bit more. Oh, geez. Anyway, you get the picture. Um, you hook that up. You put this box back in, and then uh, and then uh, you go ahead and put the. Uh, this cover over the flame, it's got a little, little uh, wing nut, and you put the cover back in, and the grill's back on, and then that's it. So, that's that's all for now. That's, I'm going to let you guys uh, go for now, and then, uh, yeah, later on I'll test it. Maybe in the comments I'll, I'll say if it worked or didn't. Alright, have, have a good one, and happy Thanksgiving everybody. All right, YouTube, just a little quick follow-up video. I mean, this was literally five minutes ago. I uh, turned the uh, thing to heat, and it was 9.22 when I first turned it on. By 9.23, we got flame. It works. <laughs> Not very hard at all. Hey, and uh, yeah, follow your safety procedures. Uh, yeah, shut your gas off and turn power off, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, don't do like me. Or, okay, you could do it like me, but don't blame me if you screw up and turn that thing on. All right, talk to you later. Happy Thanksgiving again.